Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about how we can subtract integers. So in a couple videos after this video, we'll talk about um, subtracting rational numbers. So we'll do a video on how do we subtract fractions and then how do we subtract decimals. But for right now, we're just gonna focus on integers. Remember, integers are just whole numbers and their opposites. So just positive and negative whole numbers here. All right, so remember our rule for subtracting integers. To subtract an integer, we want to add its opposite. And then we can go back to our rules for adding. So we're gonna kind of rewrite all four of these as addition problems, and then we can go from there. So number one says three minus 13. So we're actually gonna change this to three plus negative, not, not negative three, negative 13. Okay, so now we have three plus negative 13. Well now we are adding and they're opposite signs. So what is our rule for that? Well we subtract, right? The larger absolute value minus the smaller. So this would be like 13 minus three and that would be 10, and now we go back and we look at the uh, absolute value, the larger absolute value, and what its sign was. Well, the larger absolute value was 13, and its sign was negative, so this would be negative 10 as our answer, okay? All right, number two, negative eight minus negative 12. So we can rewrite it as negative eight plus the opposite of negative 12, so negative eight plus 12. Once again, we have different signs and we're adding, so we're gonna subtract 12 minus eight, and that would be four. And now we look back and go, okay, which number, negative eight or 12, had the higher absolute value? And that would be 12, which is positive. So we can say our answer is positive four. All right, number three, five minus negative eight. So we're gonna rewrite this as five plus eight, right? And this one is nice and easy, five plus eight, they're both positive. We can add them, keep the positive, and this would just be equal to 13. All right, and the last one, number four, negative seven minus seven. So negative seven plus, and then we'll have negative seven in there. We did the opposite of seven, right? So now, once again, we are adding the same sign, so we can add seven plus seven, seven plus seven, and that would be 14, and well, we're gonna keep the sign. Both of our sevens were initially negative, so our final answer would be negative 14. Okay, so as you can see, we kind of had one example of each of the scenarios you might see. Number one was positive minus positive. Number two was negative minus negative. Number three was positive minus negative. And number four was negative minus positive. So hopefully that gives you an idea, one example of kind of each of the ones that you might see in class or on your homework. And now you know how to subtract integers.